G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to do six coasters for you today and I'm going to do them in purple and uh, do a gold edge and some gold flakes in the middle. So that's the plan today. I am using Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat in this pour. And uh, I made it up already. It's in my jug there, ready to go. And I'm just rolling my sleeves up and then I'm going to put my gloves on. Um, what did I mix up? I have made 500 grams of resin. So that should be plenty for six coasters. I've gone ahead with my piece of masking tape and I've covered the whole thing um, with this, I've done all of them to get any little bits of dust and fluff and things out. Uh, so, purples. I've got this dark purple by Lorez. Uh, it's called Deep Purple. And it sure is a deep purple. Look at that. Amazing. So there's that one around the outside. And then to contrast that one, I thought I'd use this pale purple. That one's called Violet and it's by Artie Sue. So that's that one. And then I'm going to put some purple tint. I may mix a little bit of magenta into it as well. And then I've got a darker purple as well. Pretty, huh? I just didn't want to put these two next to each other. I just wasn't sure. I thought maybe they'd clash. So I've gone with the darkest and the lightest. And then I'll put that one there. That one's for my clear. And then I've got my gold flakes. So that's what I'm going to do. Whoa, look at them flying everywhere. Actually, I might put some of those in the cup now before I put my gloves on. Because it's much easier to do. And make sure that they're all separated. See, they come in leaves. Make sure they're separated before they go in. Otherwise, you get clumps and you won't be able to break them up. So see how they're all sticking to each other? You think maybe there's only one there, but there's a few. Takes a bit of time. Just break them all up. Or separate them, I should say. Well, now we're stuck. Oh no, oh no, now I'm in trouble. I have to get that out. Um, how much do I need? I don't think I need too much. Let's leave it at that. Because it's only a little bit for the centre. Um, depending on how it goes, I may do a flood coat later with a little bit of gold in the middle. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Come out of there, you. It's not time to play yet. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's stuck, you guys. Hang on, I'm going to need a bit of a baby wipe. Will that do? Oh, 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 hang on, here we go. Gee, that's hard to get out. I've never spilt any in there before. Okay, got to give it a good wipe. Right, let's get to this. Uh, let me get my gloves on. This is my homemade mould that I made. I love it. I'm waiting for some more silicone rubber to come in. I'm going to make another one. Um, because it's homemade and it's not quite perfect, it's kind of got a little bit of a... It's not flat on the bottom. So when you put your coaster down, it kind of wobbles a little bit. <laughs> so I'm going to try again. Right, let's get going. I'm going to put a nice big heap teaspoon of that in there in my first cup. And give that a wipe. I can use my spoon again. You can go there, actually. And then a big heap teaspoon. I don't think these Artie Sue pigments, pigment powders are as strong as some of the other brands. I find I have to use more. So that can go there. Wipe my spoon again. Nice big spoonful. I hope these colours work nicely together. 
hope so. Um, you're the gold, you're the clear. I have my cups all, all sorted, you see. I haven't got another cup for my ink. Hang on, let me grab another cup. I thought I was organised, but apparently I wasn't. That's for the clear, that's for that, this is for the ink. Okay, this is a tint. This is a, um, a tint that um, Susanna from Lorez Expressions sent me. Um, I'm still a bit unsure about what a tint is. I don't know whether it's an alcohol ink, or like whether it's got alcohol in it or not. I'm not really sure. I must ask. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of resin in first just to cover those pigments so that when I stir them, they don't fly all over the place. And then I'll top them up later. That's just the clear and a little bit of clear in with my gold and some clear for my ink. Okay, and the rest of it can just sit there for a minute. Okay, I'm going to stir these um, and I'll come back to you. Let's have a look and see how much of this we're going to need. One, two, three. That's the purple. I'll give that a stir because then you can see. See, it doesn't act like an ink. It just kind of... Well, that's a pretty colour. I don't think I'm going to need the magenta at all because that's a lovely pinky purple. I wanted to put a little bit more of a pinky sort of a tone into it rather than just all the same shades of purple, so I don't need that. Ha <laughs> ha. You can sit over there. So that was three drops. I don't think I want any more. It's quite transparent. All right, I'm going to mix these. Um, it's going to take me a few minutes. Um, and then I'll come back to you. Don't go anywhere. Righto, all mixed up. Love this. Look at that. So I've got some different shades of purples here and hopefully they will work nicely together. So let's get started. This dark purple, my cup's getting hot. <laughs> um, it's dark purple around the edge first. Whoops, I'm going over the edge. Now I'm gonna make sure I've got enough because sometimes I use too much in the first few and then I don't have enough left. So that one's got quite a lot in. Hopefully I've got enough. Been wanting to do a purple one and I've been wanting to do a green one as well. Green coasters. I just don't have a really gorgeous dark green mica. Um, I've got a lovely dark paste, but not a mica powder. You can see what I mean about my the bottom of my coasters not being flat. I see how they they wanting to come into the center, but you know it was my my first time really, so I I'm learning as I go. I think what I did was when I did my blanks. Uh, when I sanded them, instead of sanding them like flat, I kind of took the edges off when I was sanding, and that's that's a bit of a no-no because then obviously they don't have flat bottoms. Flat bottom girls, <laughs> you make the rock and roll go round. Um, no, flat bottoms. <laughs> My blanks. Right, I'm going to push you all into the corner, if you can have corners, but I'm just going to push you all into the edges there, make sure that they're all covered, because if they're kind of touching the edge there, then they're unlikely to, to want to flow out, because they'll grab the sides. So I'm just going to push all that in, and then I'm going to start doing puddles. I just like the way the, the puddles push all the other resins around. 
It kind of makes it all equal rather than me trying to put a circle around a circle around a circle. I just put it in the middle and then the next puddle pushes it all out. Kind of like a ring pour, hey, when I do the acrylic pouring. <laughs> Similar to that. Okay, I think that's, that's it's all right. This one's probably got a little bit too much. Maybe you can share. Okay. I don't think that's going to really matter. Right, next colour is this lighter shade of purple. It's gorgeous. It's called Violet. I'll just put them up here so that you can see them. And they're trying to roll away from me. Don't know that you can buy the Artie Sue anymore because she's... She closed her business down, so I don't know if, if you can, whether anybody else was still selling them, but I got a lot on special, as did quite a few other people. Now, I forgot to put my sticks underneath here. I need two sticks. I need one here, under there, and I need one under here like so oh look at that look what it's doing already you guys this one's really not straight <laughs> oh my gosh maybe it just needs more do you need more or are you just not straight did i really do badly when i made that blank all right i'm not going to scrape these because they've got wax on the inside and I don't want the wax coming out into my pour. Right, now, um, I did end up adding, it was a bit pink. I didn't want to, so I've added some alcohol ink. I added the blue violet because I don't know if the tint is an actual alcohol. And I just want, I know that the alcohol itself makes a really nice effect. So I wanted to have something alcohol in there. Right, let's go. Puddle again. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now you need to push out, please. Let's make sure I've got enough to go around. So did I tell you about the cups? They're um, four ounces, 120 mils they hold. I'm hoping that that light purple doesn't get eaten up by the dark purple. I'm hoping. But you just don't know, you know, until you give it a go, you just, you're just not, not sure what it's going to do. But um, I really wanted that light purple to shine through. Now this one is looking a little bit more of a blue purple. We're just going to have all these different shades of purple in here. And hopefully they will all look pretty together. So back in the middle on top of the alcohol ink goes our next purple. And push everything out. Oh, don't get too full yet. Haven't finished with you. I just think having um, markers and pigment paste. I haven't got any pigment paste in this one, but... Micas, pigment pastes, um, alcohol inks, clear, resin. Um, they just all work really nicely together and give you really pretty effects. So again, that one's finished, but I'm not going to scrape it. Stack my cups up. Um, now, clear. I'm just going to get another baby wipe keep on hand some clear that um, dark color is it's like a grape isn't it it's like a grapey color right clear into the middle and getting fuller Little circles moving. 
was in the center it's moved a little bit now I'm going to top that cup up with some more clear a little bit left okay how are we looking um, this one's I might need to put another stick under this side it's fuller over here than it is down there oh let's see move you out of the way for a minute and see if I can get another stick to sit on top of that stick I should just straighten my table shouldn't I I did I did try to straighten my table level it okay now let's do the gold now I always I always um I never put enough clear in and then I have to put more clear on top of my gold and it blows it all away so I thought I won't do that this time I'll fill them up almost to the top Oh, look at this, almost, almost done. A little bit of clear left. Okay, now let's torch and then I'll put the gold in and I'll put a little bit more clear over the top just to kind of push that gold down a little bit. Otherwise it can sort of poke through the, the top. All right, I'll give it another torch in a minute. Clean up my mess as I go. If I clean the drops of, of um, resin off my baking paper, then I get to use it again, you see. Oh, that's looking pretty. That um, dark color, this one, deep purple, it has, has taken over a little bit so far, but we'll see what happens. I do like my edges to be dark because I think they look really pretty with the gold next to them. Now I need to just take, I'm just going to take a level spoon. So I want to make sure I've got enough to go around. Don't want anybody to miss out. Try and get them equal anyway. But see how it kind of mounds in the middle there? So that's why I always think I need to add just a little bit of clear just to push them all back down again. You didn't get that much, did you? Okay, tiny little bit left. That's okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put any more on. Now, very, very gently, just put a little bit of clear on just to kind of make sure that all that gold is flattened down. Just disperses it ever so slightly, pokes it down so that we don't have any sticking up. If you're gonna put a clear coat on, then you know it doesn't matter if there's a little tiny bit sticking up, but these are full already, so my molds are full, so I won't be putting any more on top. looking really pretty I always just wish you know that the top wouldn't close in over the top of my gold but it pretty much always does but see that's when this is what I should do I should only fill them three quarters of the way and then tomorrow that's when I put my gold leaf on and another flood coat see that would make sense otherwise my gold's always going to get covered but I, you know, I'm too, I'm too um, impatient. I just want to get it all done now. I don't want to wait for tomorrow to do another coat. That's my problem. But I should. Because see how it's all, all closing in and you lose, you kind of lose the gold. Because the, the top covers in over the top of it. filling these up 
nice and full so that I don't get a lip that I have to sand. Mm, you're very full. I won't do any more on you. You're very full. You could have a little bit more. Yes, you can. And I think that is done. And I haven't, oh, look, I've got a tiny little bit of clear left. I'll put that in my um, pyramid mold. I started a new one for those of you that haven't seen my pyramid mold. My first one, um, I'll torch and I'll get my gloves off and I'll show you my first pyramid mold. Uh, but yeah, it's been demolded now. So I've started my second one and I think I've got three layers in there. But I've got a little bit of clear left. So I'm going to put a little bit of clear on the top. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm liking these. I am. I wasn't quite sure to begin with because I thought that dark purple is going to take over. But look at the little bits of light, the light purple there. So I... I'm hopeful that um, it's going to work. All right, that's enough torching. Uh, I can see a little bit of gold poking through there. And there's some bubbles right in the middle. I don't think I've torched right in the middle. I kind of go all the way around the outside. What are you smoking for? I think it must have got a little bit of gold. All right, so there's a tiny bit of gold that's kind of poking through. I don't want to disrupt my striations. I'm getting striations, you guys. <clears throat> but look, I, how much better would it have been if I'd done three quarters full um, and then come back tomorrow and done the flat coat with the gold? Hey, I must do that. Remember to remind me I must do that. I keep saying I'm going to and then I get carried away, you know, because I make up the right amount of, resin um, to fill these but I should make three quarters make enough just to do three quarters and then um, come back the next day and do the flat coat with the gold I'll try and remember to do that I might even redo this color because <clears throat> I love these All right let me get my gloves off um, I didn't put my wristbands on I think that every time I put them on they make me itch so I put a barrier cream on first and then put my gloves on so I'll show you this pyramid for those that haven't seen my pyramid that's it there <laughs> and um, I've got another one that I've started and it has got um, it's got gold in the bottom that's that's it there it's got gold in the bottom and then I think it's got clear and then it's got some purple but um, I've got some, oh, I've taken my gloves off now I'll have to be careful I've got a little bit of clear left so just I don't want to waste it so we'll just pour it in there I think it's actually really pretty if you have a color and then a clear and a color and then maybe some gold or silver and and then you know a little bit more clear so if you don't already have something like this, it doesn't have to be a pyramid. You could have any design. The spheres look really nice or a, maybe just a box like a square. Um, and then you just pour your, your leftovers into it. And then when you're done, you've got a gorgeous little creation as well. Um, I've just spilt a bit on the side. Let me clean that off. All right, let's take you down for a close-up of these. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm loving them. The longer they sit there, the more I'm loving them. I am. So pretty. Wow. All right, um, now let me see. I'll turn that off. How's that look? It's just so hard for me to photograph them with my ring light on. It's, it's a pain. So I'll just turn it off. For the close-ups anyway okay right 
the pet. Wow. A little hint of that um, pale purple, like lilac. And still see the gold. And that hint of the um, the tint, it was kind of like a, a pinky, pinky purpley magenta. It's given the whole thing a really pretty tinge. What's going on around the side there? Hey, what are you guys doing? What you doing? Is that light color gonna pop up from underneath? Mm, it might. Sometimes it does that. You know, you think you're gonna have a dark edge, but um, the dark gets pushed over the top and then the light color comes up from underneath somehow. I don't know how it does it, but it does it. It looks as if it might be doing that look. Oh well, that's what my navy and, and white coasters did. Do you remember that? It had those little white tinges coming through on the edges. So there we go, that's them. Um, I'll be coming in back and checking on these every 10 minutes to see what they do, but so far I'm loving it. Let's just hope it stays like that. Uh, but definitely, definitely, I need to start, start doing um, my flood coats so that I can see the gold. Look, maybe I still can. Maybe I can. I can just do a really, really thin one. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll do that. Depends how much of this gold gets lost because there's no point putting the gold in if you're not going to see it. All right, I'll stop going on about it. I'll try and remember to do it next time. All right, I'll see you tomorrow for the unmolding. See you soon. Okay, guys, I decided I am going to do a flood coat. It's the next day. I'll take my little lid off. This is a, a drawer from a, a two-set like plastic drawer thing, and the drawers are great. They cover it really well. So this is how they look the next day. They are set. And what I'm going to do is, I've got these plastic spoons, and I thought I'll, because you never know how much to pour, but I might try, see how much I can hold in a plastic spoon. It might be a little bit too big. Um, I've got my resin in a in some warm water because I want to keep it nice and soft, uh, thin, I guess, so it flows easily. I don't want it to be thick. So that's for that. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of gold in here. Um, I mean, the coasters look amazing, but I just wanted more bling, you know? So we'll just put a little bit in and I'm going to have to be really careful that um, it's not going to be like poking up through the top because I'm only going to put a very, very thin layer of resin on. So I think it'll just be a tiny bit of gold in the middle of each. I mean, you can still see the gold through the bottom, don't get me wrong there, but I just want a little bit more on the top. So I'm going to put just a tiny bit in. Can you see on the side there? Or have I cut you off? Oh, no, you can see. That's all right. Okay, so let's just do a little bit of resin. And you can be really careful if you're in a water bath, not you personally, but make sure that you dry the bottom because if you get any drips of water in your resin, that will not be good. So dry the bottom of your cup before you go lifting it over anything important. All right, let's see how we go with this. Stir that up. And I only want tiny little pieces. I don't want them to be too big and chunky because then I'll have probably have more of a chance of them sticking out through the top if they're too big. So let's try and break them up a little bit more. I made up... What did I do? 80 grams. 80 grams of resin. So hopefully that will work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flood them first. Because if I put the gold on first and then flood them, it's just going to spread everywhere. So I'll flood them first. Um, and then put the gold on. And see how that goes. Alright, I'm not sure how much... 
Actually, I better make sure that clean. <laughs> Give them all a blow. <laughs> Alright, so that's... I don't know if that's too much or not. That's a whole teaspoon. Oh, yep, yeah, that works. Alright, let's put a whole teaspoon on each. It's a big... It, well, no, it's not actually a teaspoon. It's more of a dessert spoon. It's just a plastic spoon. Actually, I might spread that. I had an automatic inclination to pick it up and tilt it <laughs> as if it was one of my acrylic paws to spread it. Oh dear. Hopefully, um, I'll have just enough room in my mold to allow for this because it's they're pretty full. But look, I'm only adding. Mm, probably two mil, one mil, two mil of resin, millimetres. So I'm just pushing that up. I can feel the edge there, pushing it up to the edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this on all of them. And I'm going to fast forward you because you don't need to see that. Um, and then I'll come back once I've spread them all out and we'll put the gold on, okay? So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, my flat coat is done. Um, on a few of them, I actually just used my palette knife and pushed the resin right over the top um, and then just wiped it off if it ran over the mould, over the edge of the mould. So... Hopefully, I've got it well covered. So now I'm going to torch and then we'll add the gold in. Get rid of all those bubbles. Can you see the bubbles popping? I'm not sure if you can see them from up there. But they are popping madly. So lesson learned. I've learned a big lesson on this. <laughs> Fill your coasters three quarters of the way up. Leave a little bit of space on the top for your flood coat. It makes it so much easier when your resin doesn't flow over the top of your mould, which it was doing because I was trying to cover everything really well. Now, let's hope I've got enough room to put a little bit of this on. Hmm... And I'm not going to pour any more resin over the top. I think just a little bit of heat should be enough just to kind of spread that bit of gold. How's it looking? It's so pretty. This is what I needed to do. Oh, no. I spilt. Mm. I'm just saying to myself, don't spill anywhere else. There we go. It's easy to put back, though. That is exactly what I wanted, you guys. Exactly. Now, are they all about equal? You've still got a bit of a flyaway piece. It looks really 3D. Now, you could just do with a little bit more. See how it's kind of flowing out anyway on its own? So, that's okay. It's kind of spreading on its own. So I really don't need to do much at all to it. I'm just going to hit it with a little bit of heat. Separate that a bit. I don't want any big chunks sticking out. Are they, are they looking even? I don't want to put too much on, but I want them to be all kind of even-ish. Right, no, 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 no. I get carried away and then they end up with too much. I only want a little bit in the middle. Okay, this is looking good, you guys. It's looking good. Now I'll just heat them. Another little bit of a, a torch. And hopefully that heat there is just enough to kind of move them. I have got a tiny, tiny little bit of resin left. If I need to... See, this one's poking up a little bit. which is a bit of a problem. A tiny bit of resin left. I wonder if I can just, yeah, see if you do that, then it, it 
flows again, it starts flowing. I don't really want it to do that, but I do want to just cover these little bits of gold that are sticking up. So I was going to do it really gently. And look, if there's a few little pieces sticking up, then is it really going to matter too much? I don't know. Maybe it will. I don't know. Depends on the buyer. Like if someone buys these, you know, you can get really pedantic buyers who want it absolutely smooth. And then there's others that go, look, it's homemade. You know, it's not going to be perfect as if it would be if it was shop, you know, um, mass produced, I guess. So I will try and get it as flat as I can. This extra resin is pushing the gold down a little bit, but I just don't want it to push out too far. So anyway, there we go. I'll probably have a little bit more of a play and a fiddle and make sure that everything's poked down. But, um, oh, loving that, you guys. I'm going to do this in future, like with the gold leaf. I'm just going to fill them three quarters, as I said, and do a flood coat. And um, I'm going to be much more happy with them, I think. I'll turn that bright light off and then I can take you down. They do look very dark from up here, but... They're, they're really not. They're not that dark. Let me just focus you. Oh, that light. <laughs> the camera sees the, the white light and wants to focus on it. Now, through the camera, they do look a little bit more um, maybe bronze-ish, but they are purple. They look lighter through the screen. But look at the gold. It's just finished it off beautifully, hasn't it? Yeah, they just look a bit dark. Uh, look lighter through my, my screen. Do what they actually are. We've got beautiful striations there. Very happy with that bit of gold on the top there. And they haven't moved or changed a lot since you saw them yesterday when I poured them so but you can see that's that's the color the darker color it's only when you kind of zoom in that my camera sort of makes them a little bit lighter but they're they're not that they're that color all right I'll see you tomorrow I'm gonna to have to wait another 24 hours now um, to demold them because I've done the flood coat I'm loving them you guys I love them I love them I love them all right we'll see you for the unmolding tomorrow okay stay tuned I'm back. Oh, I'm so excited about these. I've got to tell you, I think maybe they are my favourites, my new favourites. Wow. So glad I put that um, top coat on, the flood coat. So let's get them out. And I'm sure they're going to need a little bit of a sanding because I did add so much of the, the flood coat. So actually they feel quite smooth on the edge there. There's a, oh, there's a tiny little lip there. See that one there? That's where um, the little bit of the flood coat just went over the top. And there. So tiny bit of sanding to do, but it's not enough to get the Dremel out. I'll just use my um, my emery board, you know, my nail file. And I'll just file those. So, yeah, happy with that one. It's gorgeous. Where can I show you that I don't get a reflection? <laughs> It's so hard to take photos of shiny things. Um, well, have a look at the back. Um, I haven't actually found... Oh, actually, no, there was only one. I was going to say I haven't found a coaster that I did that I actually preferred the back, but <clears throat> the copper one, I did prefer the back. But usually, for me anyway, I find that um, I much prefer the front. And all those little bubbles that it had under there. You can't pop those, can you? No, because they're stuck underneath. So, yeah, not interested in the back, but woohoo, look at that. Amazing. Oh. All right, anyway, let's get these babies out. 
and then I can go and sit outside and do a bit of sanding. Uh, and then I'll show you the finished product. I'll show you the back, but it's it's not much chop. <laughs> Hardly even look worth looking at, isn't it? But they come out really well. So there's another little tiny bit that I'm going to have to sand. Oh, that's so pretty. What's that? A oh, little tiny bubble. Little bubble. I'll sand that. So pretty. And I've got the beautiful striations. Look at that gold sitting on top. So glad I did that flood coat. I love my new mold. I'll be making a new one soon. I'm just waiting for more silicone to arrive in the mail. Hopefully I can do it tomorrow. That one's got a little bit more of the, the lighter purple in it. These are going to be amazing when the gold's on the edges. Just amazing. So they're a tiny bit thick for my liking. I don't like them quite that thick. So my next mould will be not quite as deep as that, but beautiful, shiny surface. Look at that. You know how I was worried that the um, the gold flakes might stick out? Mm -mm. It's just perfect. Another tiny little lip there as well to be filed, but really not much at all to be sanded. Alrighty, there they are. And um, I'll paint the edges and I'll show you the finished product very soon. Don't go anywhere. Hey guys, I thought I'd just show you my process of painting the edges. So I've put my little bumpers on the back. I like to do four. I think if you do three, it might sort of tilt. So that's the back. We're not going to see the back, so they're on there. Uh, and then I can just put it there and then paint around the edges. So that's what the sheet of little bumpers looks like. You can get different sizes and different thicknesses. I don't like them to be too thick. I try to get them as flat as possible. So that's that's them there. Uh, what I'm using to paint the edges in today is the gold in the Model Master. It's made by testers, um, but we can't get testers in Australia. So using the Model Master. And I just put a little bit in the lid. Look at that. It's like liquid gold. <laughs> just put a little bit in the lid. It just makes it easier to then dip uh, I'm just using this pen as I always do. I just dip it into there. Can you see in the background? And then um, basically just paint the edges. And struggle with the focus. <laughs> so I'm not going to do the whole thing. Um, this um, model master paint, it's an enamel and it's used for um, like model cars and things like that. So it stays on really well because it is an enamel. But if you make a mistake, it's pretty hard to get off. You have to, well, I use acetone. I don't know if you can use anything else, but you know, acetone nail polish remover. Um, but it is, it's very, very shiny, um, gold like. And it goes on really well and then once I've done that dip again and then just do the very edge so with your little nib of your pen half on half off the top and just go around like that and then you have a lovely edge 
and you've got the rock look on my coasters anyway you get that rock look so um, I'm going to continue doing these finish them off and uh, I'll show you the finished product shortly <laughs> 